Hey, what's going on guys? This is Gotets here. In today's video, I have a brand new episode of Q&A. And before we get started this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Be so little content on my channel on a daily basis. And yeah, it's in the video. So yeah, it's been a while. I haven't uploaded a video the past few days, but I do have a decent explanation for. I will explain it after, but first, I need to answer some of the questions that you guys asked me last week. So, let's take a little look at the first question. Alright, the first question I got asked was from Andrew McDonald, and he says... Kotetsu, WTF happened to you? You used to be my favorite stunter, now your videos have lost the level of quality that I've come to expect. And then I got him back, like, oh, what happened? I, I didn't know if he was joking or not. And he responded by saying, oh, Kotetsu, I have had a sudden and drastic change of heart. Your videos are truly top-notch, and, <laughs> and I believe you're the best stunter in Revolution since Thunder left. So obviously, this guy's been commenting on my videos before. He hasn't commented on the past few Q&As, but now I know he's a complete troll, and yeah, I may not feature his questions anymore since I know he's just trying to, you know, just mess around with me, try to get on the video because he's an attention whore. Okay, on to the next question. Now, this is a pretty controversial question that I might answer pretty vaguely if you understand what I'm saying, to, just kind of to protect myself. Dark Stunter asks, what do you think about the world trainers... <laughs> Sorry. What do you think about the World Trade Center attack in 2001? Some people think the planes are fake and they use bombs. Some people think it wasn't a terrorist, they think it was a government. Watch the watch couple videos before answering this question. Try to find a video which explains all the plane attacks are fake and I don't know. When this happened, I was only 1 year old, I think, so I don't I wasn't exactly living through it, so I have no idea what like happened, so yeah, it's kind of a hard thing for me to answer, so... Basically, I'll say, like, uh, if it was fake, fuck the United States government. If it was real, I feel sorry for the United States government. That's pretty much just what it comes down to. So that's the answer to that question. Alright, the next question is asked by Dat Nico, dude. And he says, Why didn't you answer the questions I asked two times, which you, uh... <laughs> Sorry about that. My ear is doing something really weird right now. I might just get to cut the clip. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm not sure what the heck is happening, but I've been, like, exercising this morning and stuff, so let's continue reading this question. That Nico dude asked, why didn't you answer the questions I asked two times, which was, do you think Re Revolution will collab with any other crews? Question two. Well, the reason why I didn't answer your question last time is other people have been asking that question to me, so I didn't want to repeat myself since someone else already asked that in, like, a few Q&As ago, but I will go ahead and answer it again. Which means, like, we're not planning on it right now, but it's never, uh, there's always a window of possibility we might do it, but as of right now, we have nothing planned. So let's move on to the next question. Alright, the next question is asked by Frisky Gray, and he says, Did you like my wall ride in Stairway to Heaven? And even though it looked kind of easy, it was an original spot, so I gotta give you credit for that. I can't believe no one really saw that before, but it was pretty nice. It was a decent stunt in the team tish, and that's what I thought. Okay, the next simple question was asked by Heats, and he says, PS3? No, I only play on the PS4 and Xbox One. Okay, Hi Dive asked, my question for the next Q&A, do you have a swimming pool? By the way, I reserve a spot for an open lobby if you do one. Well, I'm not planning on doing an open lobby on Xbox One right now, but I'm sure you can have a spot if, whenever I do it. And I do not have a swimming pool, since it is cold as heck here most of the year. But it's really hot during the summer. Alright, ITedHG asks, what country are you from? What is your name? P.S. Thanks for liking my video, Crank Slide 360 back to Crank Slide. And, well, uh, I'm from the United States. Specifically, I live in California, the southern part of California. And my name is Vaughn. Uh, I'm not saying my full name on here. Some of you guys already know, but I don't know. If I made my full name public, you could stalk my family members and like stuff. I don't want any of that. That's not going to happen. And... And also, yeah, I liked your video because it was a pretty good stunt, so you're welcome for liking the video. Okay, we have a very on-point question here next, so I asked by Mr. Oranges, and he says, What are you doing to preserve water during the drought? And I'm taking shorter showers, I'm, like, watching my water. I'm just overall being aware, concerned about the whole situation because, I don't know, California, it doesn't rain here very often, and the past few years we have had a very intense drought, in this country, so we just gotta be very careful about what we're, what we're doing, and yeah, that's the answer to that question. Okay, yet another question here was asked by Trailblaze, and he says, Do you think the finisher for the last team tish is one of the best stunts ever? And if, as you guys know, Absolute's finisher, it was kind of a glitched bump thing. That doesn't mean it was cheating, just anyone can hit a glitch bump. 
basically what happened is there was like a little ledge and there was like a little bench and if you like bumped like right between it it like shot you up like way in the air apparently according to dark it is not possible on the ps3 and xbox 60 so that cut out some of the people who were potential to hit it and yeah someone is eventually bound to hit it because as i heard a lot of people knew about the spot so yeah i think it was a pretty good stunt not the best stunt though okay another question here is asked by x black says are you boss of course i am so that wraps up all the questions this week and now it's time to explain why i've been posting a video lately so as you guys know i was planning on un unboxing the xbox one and making a video for you guys like unboxing it and reviewing it and stuff but sadly my camera crashed right in the middle of recording but i got part of the footage i'll show you guys a uh, part of the footage I was able to salvage at the end of the video. It got like, cut off at like 2 minutes and 40 seconds, I think. But the beginning of the video is still nice, so I'll still, sh I'll still show it to you guys. And I, want, I don't want this video to be like too long, so I'm probably going to cut it off here and show you guys a, a final clip right now for the unboxing. And I'll leave my gamer tag in the description down below if you guys want to play with me. I'm only going to be a tiny bit selective in adding people, like, uh, I'm going to add most people, I'm going to say that. If you send me a friend request, I will probably accept it. That's pretty much how it's going to work, so. Alright, guys. Look forward to an another episode of Top 3 slash 5 slash 10 Stunts tomorrow, which I will be posting, and hopefully this goes up today. Yeah, and until next time, this is Gotetsu, and I'm out. You guys have a good day. And here's the part of the clip uh, that I was able to salvage right now. There we go, knife knife, there there. Let's sit down. <sighs> hey, what's going on guys? This is Gotets here. In today's video, I'm me unboxing my brand new Xbox One here and my Grand Theft Auto 5 game disc for the Xbox One. And before we get started on this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, be as well content on my channel also on the basis. And yeah, it's in the video. So basically, I got this package in the mail today. For all we know, it could be a box full of dildos, but as far as I'm concerned, this is an Xbox One that it ordered a few days ago in this box, along with the copy of Grand Theft Auto V. So yeah, let's unbox it. <laughs> I'm going to try and show you guys as much as I can to me unboxing it too. So you just got to get it through there. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. There we go. Okay, got the top open. Now we just got to open the sides. There we go. Dang it. If you guys have seen my last unboxing video of the Elgato, you guys know I'm terrible at opening things. So this might take a while. There we go. Now, let's just leave this side for now. Let's go do the other side. There we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. The first step done. So, the first thing we got here is, uh, okay, this is a note of the sale. You guys don't need to see that. And we got a bunch of, like, airbags here. Don't know what these are used for. Just a bunch of them here. I'm gonna, like, throw those aside and put the knife aside so I don't, like, stab myself in the ass or anything. And... Here's what you guys have all been waiting for. Oh my god. Put the box away. This is an Xbox One. Yay. Okay, now, uh, I was just doing that for the thumbnail, basically. It's the Master Chief Collection comes with that. Sorry, not going to give away the game code. I still want to play that. And if we look at the box, there's the front side. There's, like, this side saying it comes with it. And there's this side, hey, I think this might actually be the front side.